Every two weeks on The Beat Goes On, we bring two great wines to the table for tasting. Conducting the tasting this week is Master Chef Tony Astle from one of New Zealand's finest restaurants, Antoine's in Parnell. Tony Astle from Antoine's Restaurant. What a pleasure it is to have you in the studio again today. And we are together again. I love this. It comes around so quickly. Oh, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, I, well, I have to hang out for two whole weeks <laughs> until I get my next beautiful, beautiful wine. You think we believe that? <laughs> <laughs> two <laughs> weeks is a long time. <laughs> we'll remind our viewers once again that the whole purpose of this is to test two new wines, uh, some of you already know well, for the Antoine's wine list. They have to be pretty, pretty, pretty good to get on the Antoine's wine list. It's got to be to my taste. <laughs> and that's a worry for most people. Now, for our viewers, there may be one left in New Zealand that doesn't know where <laughs> Antoine's is. Let's go over it, Tony. Let's go over it. 333 Parnell Rose. Yep. We know that. That's 333 Parnell Road. That's in the, mm. in the Parnell Village. Mm. Um, Lovely fact, little restaurant. It is, it's a great mm. little place, actually. It's a little villa. Uh, and it's it's just, it's, it's formal, but not formal. Oh, yeah. you, know, you, ca you can be casual. Yeah. And we have dropped the pomp and glory. We yeah. don't wear the white gloves anymore. It's, yeah. a, it's a bit difficult to get yeah. people to wear white gloves and tails. But it's fun now, don't you? Know, it is. It when, is you fun. when you get to our age, it's got to be fun. Uh, yeah, well, exactly. <laughs> and the phone number is 0937987756. And the website is www.antoinesrestaurant.co.au. Sick. The season's coming up, so uh, it, you, you can do block bookings. You can book the whole restaurant out for a social function or a Christmas. Block bookings, we don't like them too big, but mm. if someone does take, say, mm. over 30 or 35 people, they, they mm. take the restaurant. They so. take the whole restaurant. And yeah. it's a great place. We've got the outside yeah. garden, and, it's, yeah. and this time of the year it's beautiful. Now, Tony, enough chit-chat, enough chit-chat. We've got some serious work to do here, Tony, You're tasting two beautiful wines. Well, we're going from one end of the country again to the other, so we're going to uh, Marlborough. And we're going to have a Sauvignon Blanc. And this is my new entry on the inductee into Antoine's list. Okay. And a very, very special wine to me is the Gilman Matacana. So it's north of Auckland, Matacana. This is mm. a 2004. Very, very so special wine. Marlborough, Matacana. Yes. South Island, North Island. Yep. We normally start with the uh, white, don't we? Oh, I think yeah. it's how you like it, isn't it? So yeah. I think we'll go. So, okay. we have, so we have the the Eridus. Yeah. Now this is from the Arwatea Valley, which is very famous for its Sauvignon Blancs in, in Marlborough. Um, Look, Tony, just before I can get it, it's just wafting, it's beautiful. Isn't it? It's yeah. actually, like, we had one last week, mm. I think, that did yes, the same did. sort of wafting. Yeah. It's sort of very, it's a character. Beautiful fruit smell. You know, but if we, if we get it in into our mouth, it's going to sort of be, oh, the proof is in the that's tasting, beautiful. isn't it? But it does have a good, good nose. Now that, that slightly mineral. Oh, isn't that beautiful? You know, they say tomato mm. stalk. You know when you get fresh vine ripened tomatoes, that oh. smell? It is mm. there, you know, it's sort of got that. And so it's got those sort of characters. It's quite interesting. You know, Michael Eridus uh, would be very proud of this. He mm. is, he's a very lucky man. He has he this wine on the Fat Duck in Bray in London, which is one of the world's top restaurants. Now, wow. he, they have picked this wine to be they on their list. This. Now, that's pretty, pretty clever. Not only the Fat Duck in Bray in London or the UK made this onto their, this was made onto their wine list. Michael Cooper, who's pretty tough, yeah. uh, has made this the wine buy, the white wine buy of the year. Now, mm. that's pretty amazing. Now, when you think about it, this that's actually retails cool, yeah. for $19. Mm. That's cheap. And it's not, and I don't want to mean the wine is mm. cheap. This, these people are That's very clever. They're actually here. putting it out there so you can get to taste it. Mm. It's attainable. But it's just, let's just have another, oh, another taste. Tony, it's beautiful, isn't it? A little bit about the family here, Tony. It is a family vineyard? It is a family vineyard. And as Michael and his wife, Hannah, took over from Michael's parents in 2004. Now, Har and Sophie, they were actually flower people. Mm. They had a flower market for a long, long time. They started the Eridus label in 2002, and of mm. course Michael and Hannah have mm. taken it on from there. Look, it's superb. It's a, oh, it's and it's beautiful. getting better. Now, mm. Notice I have not chilled this wine. I'm mm. sick and tired of cold it, wines mm. in New Zealand restaurants. We do it, we're guilty of it, because yeah. our customers want it cold. Get angry if it's mm. not, but this is a perfect temperature. It's room temperature, yeah. but a cold room temperature. Yeah. I, we, I grew up 
white wine had to be chilled, and red wine, of course, was room temperature. But I like all wines mm. at room temperature. But it's been Although one of your champagne. pet annoyances, hasn't I get it? I really angry. <laughs> but champagne mm. is different. You know, I quite like that cold because, anyway, it goes everywhere if it's not chilled. But we do over chill our wines. The other thing with this, but this one here is very food friendly. Mm. Now, I know my friend Peter Thornley thinks this goes with white bait. I don't know what white bait he goes, but just today at mm. lunchtime, I served this and I recommended it with my sautéed white bait, which is a very quick sautéed white bait, and it went absolutely beautiful. Um, and I think also with New Season Scallops. It's just got that, and I'm not going to say, oh, it's okay. <laughs> but it's fresh, and I can taste yeah. the yeah. stalky. You can can yeah. you taste, you know, the, uh, the tomato stalk, you know, the mm. vine ripe and tomato. Just the next time you get those, smell them. Yes. That's actually, yeah. it is in exactly. my mind now, but it is, I think it's feminine. And I think these people, and honestly, it's won stars everywhere for the last three vintages. Yeah. So they're on the right track. Yeah, aren't they? So it's my job to say congratulations to Eridus and to uh, Michael. I think it's Michael and uh, and the family. They've done a wonderful job. Keep doing what you're doing because it's working. Yeah. Tony, wine number two. Here we have a very special wine to me. This is very special to me. It's the 2004 Gilman Matacana Gilman 204. It's a blend of. Cabernet Franc, Merlot, and Malbec. So it's, uh, so, and it is a blend. So yeah. it's uh, Cabernet Merlot, Franc, Merlot, and Malbec. Wonderful. Now this is Gilman. Yeah, so Gilman. it's Toby Gilman. Toby Gilman, yep. and it's it's a family name. Family name. And it's and obviously the family work the farm and uh, work they do the, the, the whole vineyard. Thing. It's just yeah. unbelievable. Right. And it's, it's what it, makes our wine so marvelous. You know, there's only one thousand four hundred and seventy-one bottles of this 2004 Oh, and they've numbered every one. And they're they? all numbered, and this one here is number 500. So, you know, it's a little <laughs> bit like the Tour d'Argent in France. It's a deep colour. It's slightly, you tell me. Oh, yeah. One mouthful of that in a restaurant, and I would go, thank you. This is just... Well, see how it's just yes, moving around? Yes, yes. Okay. Oh. This here goes absolutely beautiful with our lamb rack, mm -hmm. because the lamb rack's Swedish. It goes very well with venison. And even though we sell a lot of oxtail, this here just complements it. So it's yeah. it's an all-round wine. But Toby is very, he's a character. He went to, he worked in uh, Providence mm. Vineyard in, uh, up north. Uh, but then he went to, for a year, to the Chateau Angulis, which is very, it's a premier cruise chateau in, in, in France. Uh, I worked France. over there, did he? Yeah. So he went there, and he was nicknamed Lisbian, <laughs> which is the spy in English. Now, the reason for that was he took more photographs and took more notes of anyone else in the whole world that had ever been there. So, and I'll tell you what, it works. It's, it's paid off, hasn't it? These people yeah. would be very, very hard pressed to not know mm. this was not a French okay. wine. Yeah, so there's no way this won't be a worthy contender for the Antoine's wine list. He doesn't have to be a contender. I fell in love with this wine years ago. So, but I'll tell you what, it will never disappear from my wine list because yeah. like this one, we hope it's going to stay there forever too as long as they keep up the good work, and they will, I'm sure. But the Gilman one is there forever, and it's, I'm very proud to have that on my wine list. Two wonderful wines. Wonderful. And remember, Tony, some lucky viewer is going to win a romantic night out at Antoine's with special attention from Tony. They will indeed. But first of all, our duty is to remind New Zealand that uh, we did have a draw the last time you were on. Coming out of the draw, Mary Evans. Congratulations, Mary. Your name is there. Unfortunately, she's going to have to come all the way up from Hamilton. Uh, not a problem. Tony. Stay not a problem. Good You'll look after them. Make it a weekend. Come and yeah. stay. I mean, it's good. Not, no, I don't mean come stay with me. But <laughs> <laughs> well, we, we might. You never know. <laughs> My wife might have something to do with that. Yeah. Now, Tony, shall we do it again? Shall we do one more? Yeah, shall let's we? do one more. Let's one just more. Okay. Uh, I keep twisting your arm. Huh? Yeah, it's getting near Christmas. So, what will be the question this week, Tony? I would like to know, or and if everyone's been paying attention, what was the nickname given to Toby Gilman at Chateau Angulus yeah. in France? What was the nickname that was given to him? I think it was called The Spy. <laughs> the Spy will be fine. Okay. Get those entries in, folks. Jared at The Beat goes on. Love to hear from you, and you could win yourself a wonderful night at Antoine's and Parnell. We'll look forward to it, and I'll look forward to it. Thank you, Tony.